five of my trip to Dominican Republic. And on this video, this is a special one. Let me go over here. This is called El Salto de Hima. It's uh, located on the outskirts of Bonao City. I was here 10 years ago and I fell in love with this place. Uh, unfortunately, like, you know, you get caught up in life and working and anyway, just general stuff that you forget about taking vacations. All this time, it's been 10 years again, like I said, and I wanted to bring my family here. Uh, I have a 14 year old now, and of course my wife and I have been 20 years together. And she's from actually Fombo now. That's how I know about this place. Like I said, this is a special video, and hopefully you guys like it. Uh, you can meet some nice people here that are actually still here, believe it or not, 12 years ago. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what the place looks like what the process is to make a payment. They have like a tour and they, <laughs> you want to say hi? Que decir hola? Hola. <laughs> De Venezuela para el mundo. De Venezuela. Uh, so she's from Venezuela, actually. I'm Colombia, I live in Florida, but I grew up in the States. Uh, she's from Venezuela. And of course you have some local people here. Hola, hola. <laughs> you have some local people here. You get all kinds of mixed people here coming here and taking advantage of this place. This place is like, it's beautiful, you know. I, so this place is, is, is really nice. It's actually like a natural reserve park. You actually get a person that works locally for the town. The, the city pays for this stuff and it's a tourist attraction. Uh, and you get a guide, a tour guide, which I, I'll introduce you guys to, to him. He's a really nice guy. He's been here for 12 years. Uh, this place is amazing. I'll get some aerial shots. And the main attraction here is a waterfall, which is maybe a mile walk up high. One thing I want to point out is that a lot of people come here for the beaches. And of course, they're right. You know, the beaches are beautiful and they're very nice. Uh, but inland, this is like in the middle of the country, you get a lot of beauty too. Uh, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. So the tour is going to start right now, so I'm going to head over there right now. These guys pay a small fee uh, and they'll prepare you. And all right, let me show you guys what this place looks like. Uh, aquí está mi amigo, ¿cómo es el nombre? Antonio. Uh, Antonio, mucho gusto, Antonio. ¿Cómo está? Hablamos ahora. Adiós. Bye. -bye. Bye. introduce you guys to him so uh, his name is Andre he's gonna tell us about uh, this place a little bit so let me let's let's, let's see Bienvenido al Monumento Natural Saltos de Gima. Esto es un área protegida dentro de la categoría número 3 como monumento natural. Este es el mapa que cada visitante que viene a conocer dicho monumento tiene que recorrer si tiene el tiempo necesario Le voy a explicar el mapa, luego le voy a explicar la norma y cómo es el procedimiento para poder entrar a esta área protegida. Ahora mismo estamos aquí, entrada de sendero, a este punto donde nos encontramos. Centro de protección es esa caseta que se puede observar ahí. Es un cuartel para mantener la vigilancia dentro del área protegida. Vamos a pasar por la única casa que hay dentro, que es la casa de Felipe. Luego por el charco la trocha, charco la cabima, charco de gente, charco el saltico, cascada de la juventud, puentecito del amor, área de descanso de cacao. Luego llegamos al primer salto. De la casa de Felipe, el primer salto a un kilómetro 800 metros. Antes de llegar a la primera cascada, hay que recorrer más o menos en tiempo, unos 20 a 25 minutos, y vamos a observar alrededor de 8 charcos. Vamos a cruzar un sendero. Eh, toda la ribera del río, vamos a cruzar por puentes y escaleras. Por motivo del Ministerio de Medio Ambiente y el consenso que se realizó, se cobran 
200 pesos por persona, eso le incluye que en este caso nosotros como guía le hacemos tres funciones fundamentales, le explicamos dentro del sendero, le acompañamos al visitante que viene aquí y le cuidamos también de su pertenencia, ese es el compromiso de nosotros como guía y que sobre todo cualquier cosa que puedan llevarse se lleven de la mejor experiencia en este monumento natural y que se puedan sentir satisfechos con todas las eh, informaciones brindadas por nosotros y que llenen la expectativa de ustedes y que sobre todo puedan volver. Ese es nuestro eslogan. Le brindemos un buen servicio para que ustedes puedan recomendarnos a nosotros, a las demás personas que puedan venir aquí y visitar dicha área y que se lleven las mejores experiencias de este lugar, del Monumento Natural Salto de Gil. Gracias Andrés, muchas gracias hermano. Right, so like you heard, my boy Andres, tour guy is super professional. Uh, I know a lot of people get scared because they always want to be a lot around the tourist area, the beach area. So they're, you know, they might be scared, and it's rightfully so, you know, it's a foreign country uh, to go inland. Uh, like I said, this is in the middle of the, of the country. This is called Bonao. But like he said, th their commitment is to making sure that you're safe, that you get a good experience. This place is very nice. It's definitely worth the trip, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Andres and his team over here, they work for uh, the city, and they're very professional. They make sure that they're going to take care of us. So I know we're in good hands, and I hope you guys like this place. These trees are not native to this region of the country. They were brought here and planted from other regions, but they're from Dominican Republic, just other regions. In this sender, we're going to walk 1.8 kilometers. Hasta ese punto, que era la única cascada que tenemos habilitada hasta este momento. Casa Don Felipe, la única casa que hay aquí en el área protegida. ¿Quién es Felipe? Felipe es una persona que tiene dentro del área protegida 70 y pico de años. Desde antes seis áreas protegidas, que fue declarado en el 2009. Entonces ya Felipe viene siendo el fundador del área protegida. El anfitrión que nosotros tenemos aquí de, de... ¿Él tiene árboles de naranja en su propiedad? Sí. En ese, en ese tiempo había, había mucha naranja. Hace 10 años sí. nosotros paramos ahí y digo, cojan lo que quieran. Y... <risa> sí. sí, en ese tiempo había mucha naranja. Ya, ya eh, la contaminación de, del medio ambiente, la, la empresa, de Copa Fondo, eh, la Facundri Dominicana. Todo eso ha acabado con, con la naturaleza. Ya, mm. ya para que tiene la mate naranja, tiene que estar fumigando diario, eh, mensualmente, para que poder tener eh, un fruto saludable. Que nosotros subiendo hace 10 años, subiendo para el río, era la mata de cacao, plátanos, la gente cogiendo plátanos, naranjas, lleno de frutas, todo eso de aquí para arriba. Mm -hmm. Y ahora que se van a dar cuenta de, 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 de la diferencia que el mundo ha cambiado. En solo una década. No, no el mundo, no, sino nosotros. nosotros sí. Los seres humanos. Porque nosotros somos los que eh, dañamos, la dañamos todo, lo que, todo lo que tocamos lo dañamos. Uh. Pero así que a través de, de beneficio nosotros propios, que nunca tenemos ningún beneficio. Increíble. ¿A dónde está? Bien. Nosotros tenemos aquí, haciendo esta labor, dos años de preparación. Dos años. Y nunca le había dado la importancia que le estoy dando ahora. Después que yo hice el curso de guía a la naturaleza. Mm. La naturaleza a nosotros nos brinda un aire puro. Porque la naturaleza se encarga de, de, de toda la contaminación que tenga el aire. De ella absorberla y nos manda el aire puro a nosotros. Le agradezco mucho por el trabajo que usted hace porque es muy importante. Y nosotros, pues imagínate, 10 años este sitio dejó, you know, sí, sí, sí. Me, me marcó. Entonces yo quería traer a mi familia y usted está aquí cuidándolo todavía, entonces le agradezco. Claro. Sí, sí.
20 y pico de cacaba que tiene perrillo. Cacaba, Venga. Cacaba, cacaba. Espere, so este río nace en Constanza. Constanza. Constanza queda cuántos kilómetros, eso está lejos. Sí. Constanza queda horas de aquí, ¿cuánto eh, tiempo? Más o menos, por allá, tiene más o menos dos o tres horas. Dos o tres horas. Y en que subía, subiendo. Subiendo. Después tomar tres horas. Va a subir a la neblina. Y es donde te sale de río. Ok. Wow. Ok. This river actually, the spring is all the way in Constanza. Constanza is a city up, way up in the hills. It's actually cold there. Uh, I wish I had more time here in the Dominican Republic because I would love to make a video about that city. I've been there and it's beautiful. It's a really nice city. It's where all the food, all the crops are grown because of the high altitude and the soil is super fertile. And you see the trucks just coming down the highway with all kinds of uh, produce. When I was here 10 years ago, this water was crystal clear. It's transparent. You could see all the way to the bottom. You see your feet. Unfortunately, again, because of the rain, uh, the water's a little misty, but it still looks really nice. Uh, right now, we're just going up because we're trying to make it to that waterfall, which is called Salto de Hima. Porque, el agua aquí. ¿Por qué está tan cristalina de la, de la loma? La loma filtra el agua. Por muy, por muy turbia que venga, la loma filtra el agua y la manda limpia hacia abajo. Y te puede tomar, te puede coger, coger un termito de esa agua ahora mismo, ahora mismo. Y usted no le va a ver ni una partícula. Pero si la coge del río, va a encontrar muchas partículas. Yeah. Yo parezco la montaña filtrando agua también. Mire. <risa> <risa> no, está filtrando la que se perdió. <risa> sí. ¿Por qué le dicen el charco de gente? Gente era una persona que vivía trabajando la tierra. Venía elaborando, sembrando plátano, leutía, yuca, café, cacao, dentro de la loma. Ya en hora de las 12, ahí bajaba, juntaba un fogoncito ahí, en aquel tiempo se podía cocinar, ahora no se puede. Ponía su caldero, ponía su comida, mientras estaba la comida, él disfrutaba de ese caldo. Cuando salía de la su se puso, amuestaba y luego le regresaba a su bien de trabajo. Que era su café, su cacao, su plata, su yuca y la yautilla. Ese era también. Wow. No, ese, ese era millonario, pero no se, no se dio cuenta. ¿no? Es, es. This is a workout. Excuse me if I'm out of breath, but I am out of shape and this is a hike, not a good combination. 
as you saw in that last shot he's explaining to us that's why they can't let us in the water because of the strong currents but check this out so he's trying to warn us telling us to walk through here a little bit faster because rocks do tend to slide it's very slippery here too ¿Por qué le dicen así? Es porque aquí los jóvenes de aquí nos gustaban los bañar ahí. Solamente era por tirarnos de esta piedra. Yo ah. puedo que eso nomás lo hacen los locales de aquí, de la comunidad. No visitando. ¿Usted se tiraba del salto de Gima? No, nunca lo hice, pero hay muchachos de aquí que lo hacen. Ok. para la piel, eh, evapora la, 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 la espinilla, que es la grasa que uno produce en la piel. Si usted quiere ponerse, vaya y póngase. Lo que no podemos es sacarla de aquí. ¿Te gusta un poquito? Va a salir 10 años más joven de aquí. Sí. <risa> no, 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 no. 
Alright, so this, la gente le gusta, ¿sí? so he said that this is mud. Es el estudio para limpiarle la piel. Okay, so it, it cleans your skin, like, like the photo. So it cleans your pores. So uh, you see this in other places, like beaches and stuff like that, but he is straight out of a mountain. You know, I've seen this before, but what I found interesting is that you could put this in your skin here, but you're not allowed to take it out of this uh, nature reserve. Pues, si la tienen en la piel, la pueden sacar. Lo que no pueden es sacar eh, cantidades de aquí para eh, comerciales. So it can be commercialized. You can't take it, put it in a jar, and take it out of the reserve. Uh, also earlier, he was explaining to us of, of the work that went into this. Uh, like I said, I came here 10 years ago. 10 years ago, it was more like a town uh, river. People from the locally would come here and cook, drink, party, and it was kind of unsupervised. Now, uh, he took it upon himself and a few others to create a committee and actually make this a natural reserve. They've been at it for two years, and he was telling me the amount of research that they had to do, the local history, so they can name these little spots where you could swim uh, and honor the local people. Get the locals to cooperate, finding out the names of these trees, actually bringing trees to plant. I didn't know this, but when we were at one of these places where you could swim, it was a high jump and he was pointed at it. He said that he used to jump there. And that's when I found out, he, I asked him, and he's an actual local. So he's from around here. He was born and raised around here. So he's the perfect person to give us this gift. So it says medium difficulty right there. I'm out, I'm out of breath. I thought everything was difficult. Medium difficulty. just got done explaining to us that that tree has a very unique uh, shape so the tree's name is the Amapola and it's famous in the Dominican Republic so much so that a few famous musicians from here have dedicated songs to that tree Que tiene cada quien para subirlo. Ahí Los tres fallamos ahí. Ahí, ahí, ahí lo, le, le, le di. <risa> tres vueltas. Tres vueltas, cero, cero. Tres. <risa> primera cascada. Salto número 2, que no está habilitado por el motivo de la pandemia, se hubo dos años sin darle mantenimiento, está destruido. 300 metros hacia el número 2. So we are getting close. I could feel the wind, I could feel the mist. And this is it right here.
We're getting close. Okay. Is that it? We're here. It's a very different thing. Okay, so finally we're here. This is the waterfall, Salto de Gima. I waited 10 years to come here. This is it right here. Let me focus on it. Focus on it. It's about 36, 40 feet high. We used to be able to swim in there, swim inside there. But unfortunately, but we can't do it today, so. a lot of mist here from that waterfall but this is it right here this is why I've been waiting 10 years to to finally come and see with my family that huh? so he was just telling me that the waterfall this waterfall is about 36 40 feet high telling me back in the days kids used to jump from up there uh, because of the rain and the high current he's advising us not to go swimming in there but if that wasn't the case you could actually go in there inside there and swim where the waterfall hits which I've done before and I wanted to do that today but unfortunately we are unable to uh, again I try to clean the lens Again, I try to clean the lens, but there's a lot of mist and wind here uh, from the waterfall, of course. <laughs> Thank you.
super cold. Extremely, extremely cold. Our guide is recommending that we head back uh, because he's afraid the currents are going to get stronger and the river is going to get flooded because it's been raining for a few days straight and we might get stuck up here. So we're going to head back. He's going to let us swim downstream a little bit uh, further down where it's safer. So for now, we're just going to have to say goodbye to my favorite place in Dominican Republic officially. We had a lot of fun here. We are only here for a little bit. I turned the camera off, of course. Because I didn't want to put this camera in the water, uh, but the water is super cold. We went in there for a little bit. Delicious, it feels really good. The, the, the air, the mist, the sounds. Uh, I recommend this trip to anybody that wants to visit Dominican Republic. This is one of those places that I highly recommend. I haven't been throughout, throughout the whole island, but this is officially my new favorite spot. I, I recommend this better than any beach. Just the whole overall experience to get here. Now we gotta head back. Uh, we decided not to go swimming we actually came to Bonal like I said at the beginning of the video my wife is from here and time is tight so we're gonna go take care of some stuff personal stuff uh, but we might come back here later today after we're done or just make a drive here again for me it was worth it this place is really nice it's worth the trip I also wanted to say that, you know, when people think of tourism in Dominican Republic, first thing they think about is the resorts, you know, the pristine beaches this island has to offer. And I don't blame them. I like them as well. But there's also ecotourism like this. Uh, this, is what this, this is what they do here. This is like right in the middle of the country. Like I was saying, some people like to be pampered, go to resorts. And some people like to put a backpack on 
some hiking boots and just go on a hiking trip so we're trying to do a little bit of both here we're enjoying the resort and we rented a car so we can come out here and do a little bit of ecotourism i'm gonna ask my tour guide to see if he has a little, something he wants to say um, so I, andres was the guy that introduced us to this place but our actual tour guide was antonio uh, he's a very professional very knowledgeable he did an excellent job uh, he took care of me and my family i know he'll take care of you and your family so if you decide to come over here um, i'll give you guys his number so you guys can hit him up uh, it was only 200 pesos which is like four dollars to get in here per person and i mean we were here all day we got here early at 10. it's almost four o'clock or three o'clock right now we're almost on the way out three or four o'clock we're on our way out but uh, muchas gracias por todo un excelente trabajo muy profesional Conoce mucho usted de este sitio y le quiero agradecer. Eso, eso esperamos porque creo que ustedes van a, a venir aquí a los Santos de Lima. Yo creo que ustedes vengan mucho más gente de, de, de la que hoy han traído. Y que la gente que llegue aquí eh, se lleve una impresión de, sea del de lugar o sea del guía que lo acompaña también. Eso es importante. Entonces, nosotros lo que creemos que esto que nosotros hacemos, lo hicimos con ustedes, se mantenga así siempre. Pues yo le agradezco, aprendí mucho. Hace 10 años que yo vine, no sabía nada. Hoy aprendí mucho. So, yo también aprendí tour, mucho fue, de ustedes también. <risa> Gracias. Mucho, mucho. So, fue un tour completo y una buena experiencia. Que, que disfruten más de, de nuestros sartos, de nuestros charcos, de todo lo que implementa lo que es la naturaleza. Mucha gente solo piensa en playas cuando piensa en este país. Si no se dan cuenta cuánta belleza, ¿Cuánta belleza hay, tenemos en hay. los ríos, sí. la cacada, eh, eh, el aire que nosotros respiramos aquí es un aire puro. Te estaba contando ahorita que mientras yo no hice mi, lo, los cursos de, de guía, no sabía lo que eh, la naturaleza tenía para nosotros, para la humanidad. El aire, el agua. Bien, el, no, y hablando con y usted todo, y y hablando la, con usted todo el día me di cuenta que quiere tu trabajo y, y, y claro. tiene aprecio amo, por la, amo, amo mi trabajo y aprecio la naturaleza, la naturaleza sí. y, y, usted y le estaba diciendo es que usted es local usted es de aquí sí, yo soy de aquí so, no estoy so, así. So, so, usted le interesa mucho que la gente aprecie su, su, su sí. patio digamos ¿sí? no y <risa> que patio. quizá ahora no le, dimos, no le dimos un tour completo porque también le damos un tour por la ciudad okay. claro que eso fue fuera parte de, de, de lo que es el área protegida. Bueno, Antonio, pues te agradezco bueno, mucho, muy agradecido. Mi sabe. familia y yo estamos muy agradecidos con usted, nos, nos cuidó hoy, se encargó de que no nos tuviéramos un accidente, claro, muy no detallado. Sí. People should know so that, you know, you're safe at the tourist areas, at the resorts, but you're equally as safe here. You're full family, you're in his house, this is his backyard, and he's going to make sure you're taken care of and that you leave with a good impression. So don't be afraid to come inland and, and get to know the island, the whole island, not just the beaches. Gracias Ay, por venir. Ay, y gracias, hermano. Ya ustedes saben. Thank you, thank you. Cuídense. Gracias. Que Dios lo acompañe en su trayectoria, sea para su casa, sea para, para su país. Que Dios los acompañe. Gracias. Ok, so again, just to end the video here. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Uh, it was a lot to do. The hiking was, uh, was very rough. It wasn't easy to get up there. Uh, so it's with the camera and with the gimbal. Uh, and with the drone footage, you know, it was a lot. Uh, also, you know, it doesn't help that it's been raining all these days. So it's wet, everything's wet, the floor is wet, everything. Uh, I mean, you could see the mist in the lens. Uh, but I try to do a good job. Hopefully you guys like it. If you do, uh, just please make sure that you hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. I'll be more than glad to answer any, any questions or address any concerns that you have. Um, but anyway, until next time, see you guys.